Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. To counter the growing influence of China in the Indian Ocean region, the Indian Navy has commissioned a squadron of indigenously built advanced light helicopter LH Mark III helicopters also called Dhruv at Naval Base in Port Blair in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The Indian Naval Squadron INAS-325 operating indigenously built LH Mark III was commissioned on 31st May 2022. The newly inducted LH Dhruv flew for the first time over the Andaman Island earlier this year and were officially inducted on 28th January. The unit is second LH Mark Three squadron commissioned into Indian Navy. The Indian Naval Squadron INAS-323 was the first unit of indigenously built LH Mark III aircraft which was commissioned into Indian Navy at INS Hansa Goa on 19th April 2021. The Naval Squadron INAS-325 derives its name from the nocturnal bird of prey, the Eagle Owl. The keen sense of observation and tracking of Eagle exemplifies the sensors and advanced avionics of the helicopter akin the nocturial prowess of the OWL personify the night vision capabilities of the aircraft. The commissioning of LH Squadron is a big step in enhancing capabilities to support our Icelanders and administration in remote areas of the vast Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The whole process of induction of LH Mark III started from March 2017 when HL had received an order of 32 LH Mark III for Indian Navy and Indian Coast Guard to replace their aging fleet of helicopters with new improved version of LH Dhruv Mark III. The contract involves integration of 19 major systems with the existing LH Mark III that includes powerful Shakti engines, full glass cockpit, new electronic warfare suite and warning system, automatic chaff and flare dispensers, improved vibration control system, IFF, ATC XPDR with ADS-B out, VHF and UHF communication system, traffic alert and collision avoidance, SAR, homer system, automatic deployable emergency locator transmitter, loud hailer, radio altimeter, rescue basket, medical intensive care unit, IADS system, AFCS, digital video recording system, automatic identification system, high intensity search light, pressure refueling system, control grip, EO pod, surveillance radar system and a 12.7 mm gun system. LH Dhruv Mark III comes with the latest generation avionics and roll equipment. They are primarily meant for the use in long-range SAR and maritime reese role. They can also be used for humanitarian assistance and disaster relief in the islands. The helicopter has surveillance radar, EO, FLIR, HOMER, high-intensity searchlight and a removable medical intensive care unit for the air ambulance role. Six of the 16 naval LH Mark III are to be equipped with indigenous low-frequency dunking sonar LFDS developed by Kochi-based Naval Physical and Oceanographic Laboratory. LFDS is an integrated system using indigenous technology capable of simultaneously processing inputs from sonobuoys and operating the dunking sonar for establishing exact range and bearing values with active low-frequency transmission. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.